Hello everybody. This is my Timu haul. I guess I'm going to have to do a play-by-play -play because I don't know what I've done, but I can't seem to get my sound to go along with my video now. I must have hit a button or something, or I'm just a bonehead. But this is my salad spinner. I've wanted one of these for a while. And I think it was $12, so it's probably the most expensive thing I got. But I, I've seen them before for like 30 and so I thought it was a pretty decent deal but then if I go on another site like Alibaba it's probably like three dollars <laughs> but these bras oh my god I'm wearing one right now it feels like butter it's like they're so soft and it covers you and it even has these little like little cloud hands on the inside oh yeah look at this balloon I got for his birthday it's still blown right up my ex was COPD did that for us <laughs> and uh, it by by mouth like not by pumping so yeah, this bra has these little teeny inside, like little grippy things that hug your boo-boos. <laughs> I just took it out to show you. But yeah, and I'm wearing one right now and they're so comfortable. I got a pink one, a black one, a beige one, and a gray one. And I love them all. They're really silky and soft. If you've ever worn those, those um, seamless panties that they just basically cut out of one piece of cloth, I think it is. I'm not sure how they do it, but they do it. But it's like a seamless underwear. That's the same material as this bra. And if you don't want those thingies, you take them out, and then you've got this little bralette. And it's quite cute. Like, it feels so nice, too, on your boo-boos. <laughs> on your boo-boos. I just like Timu very, very much. I, I find it hit and miss. I have no idea what I'm saying there. I'm just telling you a story, apparently. <laughs> oh, my goodness. These are the bras. I got four of them for $10. That's a damn good deal if you want to know. I think it is anyways. And I love shopping at Timu because I've only had a couple misses. And some of them, some of the things I've got I really love. Like I love those bras. And then I, I got this beautiful tree of life that is for my son. I wanted to put it on the fence outside and have the birds. It's supposed to be a, a, a tree of life and then these birds go beside it that are sitting, made of the same iron and it kind of looks like they're flying from the tree out. So it's like my, my son is flying into heaven kind of thing. The one looks like a dove, which is what I thought that they were, was doves because that was my nickname I used to call my son was my dove. He was my dovey. And so he still is always going to be my dove. But anyway, so these are beautiful. $8.88 for that really nice uh, wall, the tree of life and those birds all together, $8.88. Really good deal. Um, and they came pretty quickly. I mean, you know, within like I think 10 days or so, maybe two weeks tops. Um, I usually only just do a, a little haul when I have a teeny bit of money and, and if I have a little bit extra, if, like if I got like, you know, a gift card for something or, you know what I mean? So I can spend money here and then not spend money there. I kind of mix it up so that we get everything we need, but we don't always have everything we want, but that's okay. Want is different than need. But these are just fun. And these are my nice pillowcases that I bought and they are, um, they're made out of, it looks like mulberry silk, just like those blissies, and they feel really good. <laughs> As you can tell, I like it. And I'm, I'm just showing you because I love the color of it. And, um, oh goodness, what else was I going to show you? I just wanted you to know that you can get the same kind of a nice soft pillowcase. You don't have to spend $50 each for it. Two pillowcases were $7, so $3.50 each which I thought was a really good deal. And, um, okay, so this is a little thing that's gonna go up in my closet so that I can put like, you know, just like makeup brushes or lipsticks or things like that. I have a couple of really nice little Lazy Susans and, uh, and they work really, really well. Okay, I just had to pause for a second there, I'm back. I love this little container and if, if by chance anything was in there like a little wet, like if you wanted to put your makeup sponge in there, see the little holes, it's kind of aerated. So you could sit a makeup sponge in there to dry and it would be fine. And I wash mine every single time I use them just because. Um, don't, don't mind me, I'm like, I got bit by everything on the weekend. Black flies, mosquitoes, you name it. And oh yeah, I love my Canada hat. Cause I love my Canada. Don't you know? And it is so much fun when I get a hat that feels like it just fits right on like a glove. And 
it has an adjustable strap in the back and that's how it fits on like a glove because I'm wearing it now and it fits perfect and they just tuck the excess in on the other side there and this video is only gonna be like 10 minutes long because I did this in 10 minute increments for you are <laughs> for TikTok because you can only do 10 minute things in any case I don't even know if this is going to come out okay, but I really, really hope so. But I love this hat because I love my Canada. And the little extra piece just slides on in there as I'm showing you. And don't mind my nails. They look rough because I don't have any nails on. And But I have some that I ordered and they're in this order. In any case, this is very nice thick white canvas, just like a regular old hat, but for four something. And with the Canada emblem on it, that just makes it worth it to me. Uh, it covers your nose like all the sun keeps off my spots that I have that I shouldn't get near the sun <laughs> I should be wearing like you know 100 SPF <laughs> but I don't but I wear like 50 but still oh look there's the nails I love those nails they are like a dollar 99 sometimes they're even 99 cents and as you can see my real nails oh lord look at them they need to be done quick <laughs> but anyways yeah I'm a little rough today guys but that's what goes on top of the nails. They're just adorable. And then you just brush a little top coat over top of that because th those are stickers, so they stick right on. Oh, this thing cleans out your um, brush really, really well. If you have like lint and hair and everything in the bottom of like one of those natural bristle brushes, and the only way I could do it before was cutting it with the scissors and then pulling little bits of it out because I guess, I don't know, my hair is, my hair, I get a lot of hair on my brush. <laughs> Probably more than around my head. <laughs> but those little gripper tines or whatever you would want to call them, and it, it's easy to pull all the hair out of the little spots on your brush. And, and I got one for me and I got one for my daughter. And they even have brown ones that are 49 cents. This one was 60 something cents, I think it was 68 cents, the pink one with the metal. And those are the ones I prefer, but I had, I had not realized and I had two of the other ones in my cart. And those are the little brown ones that are plastic, but I don't think they're gonna work as good as the, the metal grippy ones. Oh yeah, <laughs> my ex um, and his wife, lovely Kathy and Dennis, sent some cash for Drayden and I put it on there and I put a little bit in and it's so nice and he's got these beautiful two dueling swords so him and his friend are out playing with the dueling swords as we speak usually they're out in the backyard just going at it they're made out of foam but they look just like very authentic and oh and there is my Roku cover and I'm not sure why it's got an opening like that because I thought that that that's supposed to cover the button so you don't get food or gunk in the buttonholes. Oh, and I'm showing you my lips. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> I'm crazy. All right, so that thing goes on my Roku, and I'm going to put it on differently than it looks like it's supposed to go because I wanted it to cover my buttonholes. Because Drayden, I swear, he gets like food on his hands and he's touching the dang controller, and then I go to touch and it's sticky, which, ew. <laughs> I just gave myself the willies there. <laughs> and I'm having a hard time opening this. <laughs> nice face. <laughs> okay, so, like I said, that opening seems like it goes in the front, but I'm going to be putting it on different. I'm going to put it on the other way because there's no point to having it if that the front's open. There's like, Why would I have it? <laughs> it's just stupid. Why would I have this little piece of plastic that looks like bunny ears for no reason? So I'm going to put it on my Roku <laughs> and I'm just going to hope for the best. I hope you can push the buttons and it works. And oh yeah, 130 balloons for a balloon arch and it all came after his birthday, but I have them all for next year because he's still going to be a boy next year. <laughs> At least I hope so. <laughs> as long as the, the Board of Education doesn't get a hold of them. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Anyways, there's so many really great balloons in this bag. There's 130 and they're all different. There's like metallic blue, there's light blue, there's white, there's kind of like a, a gray that's got little silver discs in it. And oh, those are my wool balls. And those balloons are gonna look great. But yeah, these, these wool balls, I don't really find are all that useful, but I just, I mean, I was putting in a little dryer sheet with it because I, I found that the static cling didn't work that great. But, you know, I figured I'd try it. And they were like, I think, 
$2.90 for three bowls, so I tried them. And this is a really pretty shirt that I got. I really like it. Um, yeah, I really do like that. And it fits really great. And I also got a camouflage skirt. It's pink and other pink, dark pink, light pink, white, kind of, you know, like in a camel pattern. I don't know if I'm going to show it to you right now. Yep, there it is. Okay. I loved it. I don't know why I like camel. I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't want to ever be a soldier. They'd kick me out of boot camp and tell them to go fuck themselves. Because <laughs> you know I would. They'd be like, get up, recruit. And I'd be like, get out yourself. I'm not getting up. My fibromyalgia's killing me, you fucking asshole. <laughs> and this is why I say not for children. Oh, there's another one. I have an upstairs Roku and a downstairs Roku. And both of them get covered in crap. Oh, this USB? Mmm, totally useless. I don't know why I even got it, because it doesn't work for my thing. So, yeah, I might give it away. But that SD card, oh my god, ever since I changed the SD card, I've had nothing but problems. Like this interesting glitch right now, which is the sound. I don't know why it's doing that. Oh, there's the other one. I opened it up so you can see the bristle, or the, the, the bristle cleaner thingies. That's for toothpaste. That is because my grandson will leave it like all the hell all over the, the sink, little dots of it everywhere because it comes out too fast. And that is a spoon holder. And I really liked it. I thought it was cute color. And it's kind of like interesting because it's so soft. Uh, but you just put your, you know, your, your coated spoon from when you're cooking. You just set it there. Um, also, I, apparently I grabbed another one that was a hard plastic <laughs> and you can keep your lid in the front, <clears throat> pardon me, keep your lid in the front, you can stick your implements, your whatnot, your, you know, your, <laughs> the spatulas and the spoons and stuff, they go in there and then they don't get drippy all over your, your, uh, whatchamacallit, um, your stove, that's it. <laughs> My other one fell on the floor and broke, so I was like, I'm not having another you know, a ceramic one, because apparently I'm like a bull in a china shop. My mom always told me I was. <laughs> and now I know it's true. Girl, you know it's true. Ooh, 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 you're a crazy bitch. All right, so <laughs> those are me. I got, those were blades I just barely showed you. And they were supposed to be for $13, but I was supposed to have a, 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 a what do you call it, a rotary drill with it. But it just came as the, the little blade so I got ripped off so there's where I say hit and miss this thing is for you do one side and then another side and it clips your shirt together so you don't see your baboo-boos your babongas your cassabas and I'm going to get another one just like this for my friend because I forgot I ordered one and I told her about them and now I want to get my friend one they're very really like it was like a dollar and you know you can just add it on in oh yeah I got I got oh yeah those are some more fake nails I also got um, and those weren't the ones I looked at, like, because I would never have ordered that color. It looks gross. It looks like they're old pink, like, like old pink that somebody smoked all over. <laughs> like, they're gray or, I don't know, they got some kind of weird beige coloring going on. Not, not something I would have wanted, but maybe I'll wear them at Halloween or something. Who knows? But, I mean, they are fake nails, right? And, I guess I don't open them there. But they, those weren't the ones I really wanted. And I'm sure I just pushed that button to get those by mistake. Because I sure as heck wouldn't have ordered those. But anyways, I usually have my own nail manicure. Like I don't usually need fake nails. My nails are long enough usually that I can put a little coating on mine and they look nice. But every now and then if I'm going out somewhere more special, I'd like to put on some, some nails. Oh, there's more balloons that came in that package. But I think that part fell out of the other big bag. But anywho... But yes, um, so yeah, I did this all on TikTok, and then when I reviewed it, I pardon me, I didn't review it, I sent it to YouTube. Oh, there's that eye, angled eyeliner brush. I really like this. Uh, I've used it now since, and it's really nice. Um, but I did this on Sunday, this video, I think on Sunday. Oh gosh, don't look at my eyebrows. I either have like crazy old man eyebrows. <laughs> like, I, I literally do not pluck. Girls, do not pluck, because when you do, they grow in but they come out wiry and straight and they stick straight out. Have you ever seen a man with ear hair? That's what your eyebrows are gonna look like if you over pluck them. So don't do it. 
you get a really small little bit of wax and you wax just a little bit that needs it and leave the rest of them alone. Brush them. You can even wax them. Oh, there you go. That's my tick remover. Because, <laughs> yeah, that's what I want to get near is a fucking tick. But I live near a pond and we have very tall grass that they finally just cut. And when there's tall grass, you're going to get ticks. That's just the way it is. And we have coyotes and some wolves and stuff. So, yeah. There's a bunch of just different, you know, bugs that my dog can get into. She's protected from them, but still it doesn't protect her from, well, it doesn't protect me from Lyme disease if I have to pick it off her, so I hate the damn things. But usually they would be dead because of those pickers. You just pull them off. But I've heard that you have to sometimes burn them off with like a hot match. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. But yeah, so anyways. So I don't know what I'm talking about here. Oh, yes, I do. Okay, that's for next year. I have a number nine for I already made him this this year's cake. He's He was nine. And next year he's going to be ten. And he's going to have 130 balloons all in an arch. Because they were supposed to be for this year. But next year it will be even better. Because I'll have a whole bunch of stuff for him. And I ordered some more balloons. Yes. Ordered more balloons. And or, those ones that say happy birthday, the big one that I showed you. There's the other one that I was telling you about. It's a plastic one. I don't think it's going to work as good as the metal scraper for the hairbrush. But, I mean, I, I saw it first and I thought, ooh, I need one of those. And I grabbed it. It was like 49 cents. So, I mean, like I grabbed two of them. One for me, one for my daughter. She's got long, thick brown hair and blonde highlights. This is for my grandkitties. My daughter has four kitties. Her, their names are Lolly and no, or Nuri and uh, Cookie and Sushi. And apparently cats really like this thing because they like to rub their face on it. And it goes onto a wall or onto a doorway where they're like near their face height. And then they just go up and they rub their faces all over it. And they love the crap out of it. And if they don't like it at first, they say put a teeny bit of catnip on it. And then they'll get the idea. And then they'll love that scratching. Scratching? Is that a word? Scratching feeling. But... I mean, I have this brush that I use on my skin. It's like a dry brush for just like for dead skin and stuff. Before I have a shower, I'll just, you know, dry brush my dead skin off and then get in the shower and exfoliate and stuff too. But yeah, and those are gloves, which I use all the time for crafting unless, you know, I'm doing a video and then yeah, apparently not. I get shit all over my hands and I look like a crazy person. <laughs> Old. I did not know what was going on with my hair. Oh, yeah, I got another little teeny camera. I forgot about that. Uh, that was $8, too, and it connects to your phone um, via Wi-Fi, and I just have to do the code. Um, I have another uh, camera from Heimlink. From, that's from Amazon, though, but they work really well. That one's got like the, all the bells and whistles, and it literally, I think you can even talk through it, but I don't have that set up. But I can see who's at my front door, but I don't have a ring cam. I just have a camera from Heimlink that I can just look at my front door through my tablet or my phone, which is pretty cool. I, I kind of like that. It's pretty, pretty neat for security, you know? And I mean, it's me and my German shepherd, so I, I dare somebody to try to break in. <laughs> She'll bite your butt. <laughs> uh, probably not. She'll probably kiss you. That's for my ex, because he has COPD. 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 Hey, Thrifty Tiffany. I can't talk either. <laughs> COPD he has. And I think I probably have it too, but I haven't been diagnosed, so I am getting not get one of these puppies. But he's getting one because he needs it. And I also got him another one because he lost his mom and my daughter lost her dad. And they both lost them in the same week. So it was in April. So I saw this little keychain and it's so beautiful. Um, oh, what did it say? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um, do I have it? No, because I already put it upstairs for my daughter. It's just like uh, my mind thinks of you. My heart looks for you. But my, my head knows that you're in heaven at peace. Something like that. And it was very beautiful. And she gave me one when I lost my son. And I, like it's just been a hell of a three years. My, my ex fell, broke his neck. He also had a silent heart attack. Didn't know he was hurt. That's the keychain thing that says the little saying. that the, In other words, they just live on through us in our hearts. And that's how I feel. Even though I cry every day missing my son. I, to be honest. I mean, I, I was like, oh yeah, three years in, I'll be okay. No, you just, you just don't get over something like that. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. It's bullshit for anybody to tell you, you should move on. 
they should just take a big hike because it's not easy and I've lost a lot in the last few years myself and I've, I've seen so much and I've been so harried and, and upset and had to move and me and my ex split up and it's just been a shit show but the little the little keychain I liked it when I read it and I figured my daughter and my ex would like that um, his mom died my ex um, in April and then my, my daughter's dad just died of an immediate sudden heart attack right there on the couch they tried to revive him my ex lives with my daughter and her dad my other ex so she he lived in their basement so my ex was giving my other ex CPR being such a cool dude to do that like he tried to save his life he tried his very very best and like I said he's got COPD and he was giving him breaths and he was doing the compressions on his chest and everything so my ex is pretty swell I gotta say he's a pretty pretty sweet guy I don't know we just we just couldn't get along in the end because he didn't want to raise a kid and so now basically at 50 I became a mom again so like now I'm 57 and I have like a nine-year-old. Okay, so I was 48. Who's lying? I'm lying. But yeah, I think that's everything, guys. But I really wanted to show you all my stuff. And I don't know if I have one more thing there or not. Oh, okay, yeah, I have to show you the swords. Oh, yeah, look, two dueling swords. Amazon. Do, 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 do. I love it. So you got two for the price of another one. I got him one sword that cost some money. The other sword he got from his Auntie Emmy and Auntie, Auntie Savannah. And all of his grandmas and grandpas love him. And we bought him lovely things too. And Grandpa took him to Walmart too. And we he got Legos and stuff and picked out stuff. And I already showed you that, I think, didn't I? It's very nice. So anyways, I think that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please subscribe and come back. I do videos of, of DIYs, and sometimes the whole thing gets on tape. <laughs> sometimes the voices, even with the pictures. <laughs> All right. I love you guys. I really do mean that. I have 45 subscribers, and I, like, fairly danced when I found out I went up from 30-something to 30 